Hello my little rainbows and welcome back to another episode of the royal family. As you guys just saw, this episode is going to be pretty dramatic. We've had some horrible things happen to Queen Nea, so we are going to be trying to save her in this episode. We are starting at the royal family of Oasis Springs Palace because this has just happened overnight and now they are all in a panic in the morning because they realize that Queen Nea is missing. I downloaded Sacrificial Mod's Life Tragedy mod for this episode specifically. So I will link that in the description below. They've got some pretty dark stuff, so just be careful, you guys. I'm only using the kidnapping portion of it for this episode. I'm not using anything else in the, I probably won't use anything else in the future, to be honest, just because I personally can't handle that much gory stuff and some of it is pretty gory. So I probably won't be doing that. As you can see though, Charlotte is fine because she knows what's going on. She actually might start getting a little bit tense soon because she has to make sure that the family doesn't figure out that she had any part of this and they might figure that out because as you guys saw from the short scene Prince Dean of Sulani he just told Princess Leilana about this whole thing and they are on their way over they were trying to stop it before it happened but they definitely did not make it in time so they're going to be here soon hopefully but that means that Charlotte has to get out of here before that happens so I think that maybe Harmony is finding out that Dean is on his way and he's she's trying to get a hold of her daughter Charlotte to make sure that she gets out of that house before she gets caught. I do need Prince Philip so he has to call the police. You have to click on life tragedies. Tragedies so he is go oh no I have to go where do we go? Okay so we can't call the police for some reason which is worrying me a lot. This honestly was so traumatic for me to watch with Queen Nea. So the Dowager Queen Lindsay is now here and Prince Philip is explaining to her what just happened happened to Nea. They are going to have to call all of her siblings to Megan, Francisco, and Michael. They have to make sure that everyone is aware of what's going on. I can't call the police for some reason. I think they're supposed to wait for a message from the kidnapper, which is a little freaky. So basically, I mean, Harmony's big thing is that they need money and that Dean, he tried to give them a house and like a little kind of place for them to live, but he can't keep providing for them. Charlotte is actually talking to her mother right now. Harmony just called her and told her to get get out of there. So Har- or not Harmony, Charlotte, she is going to leave. She needs to leave like literally right now. She'll probably try and run to Sulani right now. Okay, so Charlotte has just left. She ran to her mother's in Sulani to make sure that the family doesn't find out while she's still there and find out she has stuff to do with it because it looks like Leilana is actually here. Princess Leilana is here and I thought I saw Lord Dean here too. So oh yeah, okay, so there is Lord Dean he's here too. So it looks like he's already telling Prince Philip about what's going on and that they might know where the kidnappers are and where Queen Nea is. Honestly, this mod makes me so, so nervous. I was so scared something was going to happen to her. I love Queen Nea. She is absolutely one of my favorite characters in this entire series. And I was just so worried something was actually gonna happen or that something was gonna go wrong. And I was just starting to freak out a little bit. But it looks like also we have Prince Michael is here, her brother, and then we also have King Jared is here, who is Queen Nea's uncle. We definitely have the entire Oasis Springs family. It looks like Lady Helena or Marchioness Helena, Prince Michael's wife even came here too, to try to be here for the family because everyone's freaking out. Princess Meghan is here too, freaking out. So it does actually look like, I think I just saw it, it does look like we can contact someone. So go to kidnapping and we can attempt to contact the kidnapsim. So they have to try and call her and then also report kidnapping to the police is what I just saw too. So they said that they might know where Queen Nea is, but definitely try to call her, see if you can contact her and then see if we can bring in the police and see if they can help out also. So it looks like Philip is going to try to contact her. It says the phone is turned off. Prince Philip should wait until the kidnappers contact him. Okay, so it looks like they turned off Queen Nea's phone, which makes sense. So now he's going to try and contact the police and see if they can try to help with everything. I think there is also like police actually come here. So a police cruiser has been dispatched to your current location. Please speak to the police officer and report the kidnapping. So it does look like with this mod, they will have police officers, which look like they're all here. Are these all the police? Oh, okay, we have two police officers. Okay, so cop and cop. So it looks like they actually have uniforms and everything, which is interesting. So now we have have to talk to them. So life tragedies, file a missing 
person's report, oh, file witness statement. No one actually saw this happen. They just heard the car and everything. So we are going to have him, I don't know, does it, should he do it to everyone or file a missing person's report? So it looks like Prince Philip is going to do that. Hello, sir, please provide me with the required information about the missing person. Um, The queen is missing. You guys should know Queen Nea. Oh my God, Prince Philip is in such distress right now. He's freaking out about his wife. All right, so Prince Philip is talking to the cop right now and explaining what they know and what happened. He says, thank you for providing us with the information. We will contact you as soon as we have any leads on this situation. So I do think that Prince Philip and Leilana and Dean, they told the police that it was Dean's sister because Dean, he is just, he was so freaking out. And as you guys saw from the short video too, that he was just done. Like he's done with Harmony and he knows that, that she wants to get revenge and that he doesn't like Lindsay either. And he wanted to make sure that she knew how much pain that she put his sister and niece through. I don't know what he was thinking was going to happen or what their revenge was going to be exactly, but I think that he just realized this is too much. I have to tell my wife, I have to tell Leilana, I love my family. I don't wanna be involved in this because if we get caught, if something goes wrong, I'm never going to see them again. So he did end up telling the police that it was his sister. He feels horrible, I feel like, about ratting his sister out and scared about what might happen, but she has just turned into this different person that he doesn't know anymore and he doesn't understand her and she is just gotten so evil and so scary and he thinks that she needs to be put away and helped and he wants to make sure that his niece, because she, the thing with Charlotte is that Charlotte was the one who told her mother like how to get into the castle and how Queen Nea usually goes on a walk in the morning and goes outside. Obviously that wouldn't be safe without bodyguards or something, but I think just early in the morning, she just likes to go in the front yard. So that's the information and that's what Charlotte had to do with everything. But now Charlotte is gone and they're realizing that Charlotte had stuff to do with this. And that just scared, I mean, that is so scary. They're realizing that Charlotte was living in their house for months, for like a very long time. And she was just gathering information on how to help her mother do this. Okay, oh my God. Okay, anonymous message received. Help hostage, what? What do I, whoa, whoa, whoa. How, okay, how do I read this message? Do I go to the mod, life tragedies, kidnapping, contact kidnappers, okay, so, he just got a message and now we're contacting the kidnappers. Basically what they need is money. Okay, if you wanna see your loved one again, send us $5,000 and no one will get hurt. That's it, 5,000, seriously? We will send you the location to meet afterward and send us the, after you send us the simoleons, the money, the credit card number to send it to is, okay, so we have to transfer them money. So Dean is here, he's telling them like, just do it that way when we get to the kidnapping, we can arrest the people that kidnapped her that are actually having to do with this or we can try to at least because he doesn't know exactly who his sister contacted and who's helping with this. He just knows his sister is the one who organized this and hired people to help them. So now we have to go to Life Tragedies and go to Kidnapping and we have to go tra oh, report kidnapping to police. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. If we do that. Didn't we already do that though? If we do that, is something going to happen to her? I think they should just transfer. They have the money. I don't want anything to happen to Queen Nea. I'm scared something's going to happen to her. I don't actually know if you do this, if they're going to hurt her anyway. Oh my God, I didn't think about that. I swear to God, if Queen Nea dies, you guys, I'm gonna blame myself. This is my fault if that happens. <laughs> okay, so transfer $5,000 to kidnapper. This is also not the only thing I want to do in this episode. So we're go, okay. Oh, great. Here's where you can pick up your loved one, location. Cave of Forgotten Grotto. Oh, bring $25,000 with you and no one will get hurt. Okay, but I feel like they should be asking for like a million dollars, like more than that probably. Harmony has to pay these people. She's not going to be able to pay them and also get enough money to live at this point. So let's just say they're asking for like $500,000 and then like $250,000. So then I guess we have to travel to the Forgotten Grotto. Okay, we're going to move on to the other thing I wanted to do in this episode. And then we're gonna come back and have Prince Philip go. So they're going to travel to the Forgotten Grotto to try to save 
save Queen Nea. I'm going to bring, oh, I don't know, Is he, should he bring anyone? They're only contacting Prince Philip though, so that's the thing. So he has to update everyone. He has to tell Leilana, and we're trying to not tell the kids all this information. They just know that something happened to their mother, and that is a lot for these kids to handle right now. That's so traumatic, honestly. Oh my god. Yeah, it looks like Marginus Helena is being a good sister-in-law and trying to entertain the kids and keep them distracted while everyone else is trying to figure out this situation. Okay, but I do want to at least do something a little bit happier in this episode. I want to go to the royal family of Brindleton Bay and I want to age up Princess Molly Grace into a toddler. And then I also want Amira to go on a date with Jabari real quick because we have not been paying attention to them in a while. They, I think, are going to just talk about their relationship a little bit more because they've been dating for like a good amount of time, but not a while. And I feel like Amira is just, she's gotten so cautious about things and her relationships and who she gets close with. So I think she just wanted to take it slow, but I think now she'll tell him that she does want to get like a little bit more serious. So we'll get to them too. But first I want to age up Princess Molly Grace. And they definitely have a full household too, but I'm so excited to see what Molly Grace is going to look like as a toddler. So I'm going to have Sadira go to her. It looks like she is crying right now. So I should probably feed her first and do some interactions. Okay, she is now feeding her. Okay, so now we are going to go, sorry, my dog is barking a little bit. Bubble, stop. I think he heard something and thinks that someone is here, but nobody is here. Can you come down, please? Say hi. No, he doesn't care. He's too distracted right now. Okay, but I am going to have Sadira age up Princess Molly Grace. So go to age up. I'm so excited to see if she gets Sadira's hair or if she gets Johan's hair. I realize I don't really have that many princesses with brown hair. Okay, so Molly Grace aged up. So she, let's have her be, okay, she is independent. Oh, and she has Johan's hair. Okay, I definitely am going to be changing her outfit. I think she has Sadira eyes, like lighter blue eyes, it looks like. You know what? I'm going to change her outfit just very, very quickly. Okay, so this is Princess Molly Grace, you guys. So let me zoom in so you guys can see. She is super cute. I don't think the lighting in this room is very good, but she is adorable. I have this little pigtail custom content for her. She's so cute. Are her and her brother gonna hug right now? That'd be so cute. Oh, it doesn't look like it. It looks like Prince Frederick just went up to her and just started babbling and she's like, um, what is that going on? But that is Princess Molly Grace and she's so cute. All right, so next we are going to the royal family of Windenburg, and I'm going to have Amira just go on a quick date with Prince Jabari and just chat with him and talk to him about their relationship a little bit. All right, so we are now at the royal family of Windenburg, and we do have Lord William, which is Prince Kellen's son. He is staying here, and it looks like Queen Evangeline. She is hanging out with him and talking to him. I'm gonna have her give him a bubble bath, and and then I know some people were asking how much longer King Henry has to live. He still has a decent amount of time to live. This goes, I mean, this bar goes by really, really slow. So it says number of days lived 266. So he still has a good amount of time. I don't think he'll be passing away anytime soon. I hope not because King Edmund, he passed away so unexpectedly. Like he had just turned into an elder and for some reason had just passed away right after that, which didn't make sense to me and scared me a little bit. And then I was also thinking because I'm pretty sure Princess Leilana's father, King Mahaka, he should be passing away soon because he's much older than King Henry, but her grandmother is still alive, you guys. His mother is still alive. She or her, or sorry, his mother and his father his father was the king of Sulani, and now his mother is the queen dowager, but she's still alive. That woman lives forever. I don't know if Su in Sulani, because I think that King Mahaka should have passed away a while ago. So I don't know in Sulani if they just live for a really long time. I was so shocked to see that. All right, so Amira has invited over Jabari. So I'm going to have them get some privacy and maybe just talk in here. All right, so Amira and Jabari are talking in here. But yeah, I think that because because Amira had asked to take things slow and then they became boyfriend and girlfriend. She was finally okay with being boyfriend and girlfriend. And now they have been together for a while. Amira and him, they don't see each other too much just because they lived like a little while away from each other. But I do feel like Amira is now like, she's scooting in with him and she's, oh, they're guys, they're so cute. Oh my God, oh yeah. But yeah, I feel like she is now okay with taking things a little bit more serious. So the fact that she's saying this, 
I think that Jabari is going to plan to do a big proposal to her because I feel like he's just like, you know what? She deserves the best. She deserves everything. I want to make sure that her proposal is special and that I get permission from her family and her father. And also he wants to make sure that his brother and his sister-in-law improves, as, uh, not improves, approves as well. So, oh my God, guys, they're so cute. So yeah, I feel like that's just kind of what they have been talking about. I think that Jabari, I mean, he's just liked her for so long. I just wanted to give you guys an update on them because I love Jabari and Amir, you guys. They are so cute together. And I think that with them, Jabari is finally being able to open up even after he got hurt from his ex fiance. So I think that him and Amir would be really, really cute together. So you guys might be seeing a proposal coming up soon with them and then a royal wedding after that, which makes me really excited. All right, so now guys, we are going back to the Oasis Springs royal family and I'm going to have them travel to where the kidnappers are located. All right, so we have arrived at the location where Queen Nea is being hostage. Pay the kidnapper, no, the kidnappers, pay the kidnappers the amount of simoleons they've asked to take Queen Nea home safely. Oh my gosh, you guys, okay, so Philip has found Nea. Oh my gosh, this animation though, like the reactions for things are really insane with this mod. There's so much detail in this. Okay, she's not dead, guys, don't worry. She's okay, she should be okay. Oh my God, okay, so we have found the kidnappers. They're saying, where is the money? So, okay, we have to give them the money. I feel like, is there a way also though for Philip to call the police. Okay, so Prince Philip has just called the police. The police are here. I'm just going to have him go ahead and pay to spare kidnapped Sim. I did it to both of them because I'm really worried. Okay, so the police are here. They said, hello, sir, please step away from the scene while we handle the situation. Oh my God, Naya, she just passed away again. I just gave you the money. Oh my God. Okay, this is, all right, this is getting super intense, you guys. Can you not, don't, okay, just pay them the money right now, please. Okay, so Philip, okay, so Philip is giving them the money. Okay, Naya. Oh my God, you guys, Naya's up now. Oh, Naya's okay. And she's getting a long hug too. Oh my God. Okay, kidnap Sim, rescue. Queen Naya has safely re been rescued and returned to your household. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so the fact that the cops were there and that I'm pretty sure they were able to capture them because I think you can click something and make the kidnappers go to jail. So I made sure to do that. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was horrifying because I'm pretty sure like if you take too long with them, like there was this thing where they could have killed your Sims. And that's what I was so worried about happening. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm like shaking. Oh, she goes, you came for me. Of course we came for you, Queen Nea. Okay, so the cops are handling the rest of that situation. I think they're also going to be going after Harmony and Charlotte. So we're going to also see that happen. I think we're going to wait for that to happen in the next episode and see if we can capture Harmony and Charlotte. I feel like what they had meant to do also was to actually hurt Naya, but the fact that Philip called the cops, then that made sure everything was okay and they captured them before anything actually happened to Naya and to Philip. Cause I feel like Harmony, she had told them to get, oh, they're all celebrating and she's hugging them. Guys, this is so cute. But yeah, I feel like Harmony was telling them to get the money and that that would be the way that they're getting paid and then to hurt Philip and Naya anyway, because I feel like if they did hurt Philip and Nea, then they could have gone and captured their children if Philip and Nea weren't there and that they didn't get away with that because Philip was able to call the police there and, and able to get them there before they hurt her. So we're going to end this episode here. Let me know what you guys think we should do to Harmony and to Charlotte, if they should just go to jail or if they should kill them or if they should make them pay for what they did. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. This was such a suspenseful episode even for me because I wasn't exactly sure Sure what was going to happen but if you enjoyed this episode and make sure you hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and i will see you guys in the next video bye